so uh, we've been discussing the how can we develop a productive feedback between modeling observation and downstream user community and we found that the, the unavailability of the station that and the capacity for many certain contests to download and work with public available observation and the reanalysis that and the format is limited. So we speak about, for instance, NetCDF format data, but uh, also we we think that the collector and the curators of the station data need to be aware of the develop station that uh, in terms of understanding the past, present, and future climate. Because if we don't know where we have come from, we are uncertain of where we are going. Over to you, Chris. Thanks, Bernardino. Uh, the other part of the discussion centered around a inter and transdisciplinary community developing an inter and transdisciplinary community to actually produce observation data that is relevant at space and time scales for these different communities. So as an example was climate scientists or climate modelers such as myself and Bernardino, we are um, users of observations data, but it's not often that we're included in discussions of uh, observation programs or observation platforms and the, the development of observation products even. So the, the thought here was, is it possible for the observation community to include other communities in their discussions when they start planning um, different programs, different observation programs, when these communities can be climate modelers such as myself, impact modelers like hydrology or agriculture, and perhaps even policy, um, the policy communities. And the last thing that we discussed uh, was the development of perhaps a white paper for different types of observations um, that may be able to inform on the correct usage and uptake of OBS data. 